Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Anchor Thunderbolt 4 Mini Dock. Now, when I first saw this, I felt like it was the beginning of the wave of a refresh that is very much needed. And Anchor is a reputable manufacturer. I did purchase this. Um, Anchor did not send this to me for review purposes. Now, whether or not I'm going to end up needing it and keeping it is another story simply because I do have quite a few Thunderbolt docks already. But the novelty of this is that it is a five-in-one Thunderbolt dock that is all about giving you more Type-C ports, which I think is really smart. So while Thunderbolt 4 doesn't really give us that much more than Thunderbolt 3, it really just delivers 8K video, where with Thunderbolt 3, we only had 4K video, uh, and that is 8K at 30 frames per second, for those of you that are wondering. Part of this push to Thunderbolt 4 is, yet again, as I mentioned, uh, more Type-C ports, which is something that is, uh, I think, very necessary in a world where, unfortunately, the majority of Thunderbolt docks simply, they give you a lot of connectivity, they give you a ton of ports, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I think the majority of Thunderbolt docks do exactly what we expect. Uh, in fact, my daily driver right now is the Sabrent dock uh, that I shared a while back. It works perfectly, has a full-size SD card reader, does everything that I need, but it doesn't offer that many Type-C ports, and that's one of its limiting uh, elements. So something like this, I think, is going to appeal to a lot of users um, who are looking for something a little bit smaller and that also really are Type-C centric. So let's take a look. I mean, off the bat, I think the styling on this thing is sharp looking. Um, I know it's going to be well made. Pretty much, it's a plastic aluminum combo. And what you can see immediately, besides the fact that it's really small, which is why it's called a mini dock, right, is that we've got a type A uh, USB port on the front rated at 10 gigabits uh, per second. Uh, and remember, 40 is the full throughput of Thunderbolt 3 and 4. Uh, then we have a type C port, Thunderbolt port right here at the front. And then when you go to the back, well, excuse me, I have it inverted. Uh, well, actually, I don't. This is the back. Uh, you've got three more Thunderbolt ports, your DC in, and a power button. So, uh, again, this needs to be powered. That's not unique when it comes to Thunderbolt uh, connectivity, whether we're talking about Thunderbolt 3 or 4. You're not going to find really any Thunderbolt peripherals, uh, except for external enclosures for NVMe drives, that can you know be self-powered by another device. So uh, the beauty of this again is its form factor. I mean, the majority of Thunderbolt docks are much larger than this. Um, in fact, I've got some other ones I'm gonna be sharing with all of you soon that are really nice. But again, this form factor is what makes this Anchor product unique. And again, the fact that the focus is wholly centered on giving you additional Type-C ports. So. Uh, we'll see how it performs. Two notification LED lights on the front. Um, of course, this port is dedicated to the system you're actually connecting it to. That's the idea. Um, and it does, in terms of power uh, delivery, I think it's 85 watts, uh, but that's something that we will see. I'm looking right now in the instructions to see what it rates everything at. So here we have it. Um, I was right. So the port that is on the front of the device right here uh, will supply 85 watts. Uh, then we, as I mentioned, a USB 3.1 Gen 2, uh, 10 gigabit. Uh, and then, of course, the two LED lights. And then on the back, that, by the way, the two LEDs, one being the Thunderbolt indicator, the other the power indicator. Then when we go to the back of the device where we've got the DC in, the power button, we've got the three Thunderbolt 4 ports that are all capable, of course, of delivering uh, the full uh, 40 gigabit uh, you know, throughput, but um, w essentially the other thing, as I've mentioned, is the capability of 8K at 30 hertz if you actually have an 8K display. I don't, but maybe you do. Uh, and then 15 watt power delivery. So it's really a matter of aesthetics and whether or not you want a really small Thunderbolt dock because 
Uh, you know, Kensington also makes some nano docks that are nice. Uh, they're older than this, so they don't have the benefit of being brand spanking new. And while I will include a link to Amazon, uh, this came directly from Anchor. Uh, you know, I've seen this on Amazon now for a while, but it has not been available. And so when I saw that Anchor actually had it and it was shippable, and they still oddly enough ship through Amazon, it just shows you what a force Amazon has become in the realm of shipping that you know, vendors like, or manufacturers like Anchor actually just lean on Amazon to be their carrier rather than USPS, UPS, or FedEx, or DHL. Not that too many companies use DHL anymore. Um, it's pretty crazy, but it's a sharp looking little dock, which is why I was attracted to it. Um, I think it's, I would tell you it's ideal for travel, but it's not. It's really more about um, having limited desk space and wanting to keep things really clean, neat, and knowing that the majority of your peripherals are type C and of course Thunderbolt 4. So they give you one Thunderbolt 4 cable, uh, which isn't that long, uh, but you know, they usually aren't. Uh, the power brick is pretty gigantic. I mean, when you look at the scale of these side by side, you start to see how small this thing really is, uh, but we'll see what it performs like. You know, for me, it's tough to imagine wanting this over a full blown uh, dock like, again, the HP, the Sabrent, uh, or the Kensington docks uh, that I'll be sharing as well. Um, I've also, what other manufacturer have I covered? I've covered Anchors. Uh, is it a 13-in-1 or a 14-in-1, which is a little bit more expensive than this, but that's a Thunderbolt 3 dock. But I feel like there are a lot of people that don't necessarily need all of those ports and also really, like myself, have been waiting for docks that are more... Uh, you know, type C specifically Thunderbolt port oriented rather than a whole host of type A ports that they don't really need. Uh, so it's a matter of what you're looking to do. For me, this would be ideal to connect multiple NVMe enclosures to so I could have multiple uh, Thunderbolt uh, capable uh, external hard drives. So great for high speed storage hub. Uh, that's what I see here. Uh, that to me, this is like perfect for that. And again, that's not to say you can't do that with a traditional dock, but if, you know, uh, desk space is limited, this is ideal. Uh, and we'll see how it performs. Uh, at $200, it is pricey. I think Anchor's got to rethink their price point because the 13-in-1 version, uh, the Thunderbolt 3 one that I covered a while back, is definitely more dynamic, even if it's not capable of 8K uh, output and doesn't have as many uh, Type C Thunderbolt uh, ports on board, even especially Thunderbolt 4, it doesn't have that at all. But remember, not really a huge difference between the two. But that's pretty much it. Again, um, I'm not even sure anyone has covered this on YouTube. And so when I saw it, besides the fact that I've been eyeing it for a few months now, but when I saw it was available, I know I'm not the only one who's got to think this is pretty cool. So that's why I grabbed it. Again, I'll see whether or not it's something I really need to keep. Uh, in the scope of the fact that uh, I've got access to quite a few Thunderbolt docks as is. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.